Uh, hello everyone and so glad to be here at the Elevate 2017 event in Charlotte. It's so great to, to have so many people from all around the world at this new era of the power builder. 26 years ago, a wonderful tool was born and it was called Power Builder. 23 years ago, I was uh, studying at college um, at a private school in Mexico and they got these uh, licenses of the, of the tool called Power Builder. And um, basically, uh, what I wanted to tell you is that I'm so glad that, that I was the only one in the room that chose Power Builder because otherwise I wouldn't be talking here in front of you. Um, my name is Filberto Sosa. I'm the CEO of the company Sizes and Colors and we have been building the Two Store software. Sizes and Color is the name of our company and so 21 years ago we created a point of sale system for Two Stores. The point of sale grew to become a full-blown ERP system and today more than 3,000 stores use our solution. In the year 2016, our, our customers sold 80 million pairs of shoes, so it represents 30% of the market in Mexico. The nice thing about uh, the, the application with Power Builder at, with Appion it, that it were, everything runs on the web and mobile devices so we don't need to install any software on the client machines. We have six Appian servers that host 5,000 users concurrently. The servers are located at a data center in Dallas, Texas and the really nice thing is that uh, with only power uh, power builder developers we can do so much. <clears throat> We have been building uh, with the Appian solution, with the Appian mobile, really nice um, mobile applications. So for example, we have applications for store owners in which in real time reports on sales and inventory. We have also the most sold item report. We, uh, we've been able to introduce Google charts into our applications and we have a new user interface so basically here the controls you can see our picture buttons so we are including nice icons in our applications uh, we have uh, applications also for the sales assistants in which um, they can check for inventory for the items on any particular size because our idea is that we will always um, need to empower our people. We are going to be giving them inventory information about, about similar products, prices, and promotions so we can help our customer with a complete outfit. Also, we are creating um, Super V applications uh, for the store supervisors in which we can create checklists and we can validate the location of the supervisor using the GPS. Okay, so I'm gonna give you an um, a demo on our applications. I'm gonna uh, load my air server. I'm gonna get into the uh, Appian workspace and I'm going to check this um, Super V application. I'm going to close this um, application and I'm going to put my the customer's name, the username, and the password to get into the application. I'm using an iOS device, an iPhone. So we have the same controls that you're using Power Builder, that drop down list box. So here the GPS is telling me that I'm not able to do a checklist because the GPS is telling me that, that I'm not physically there. So it's a nice feature that you can check for the physical location of the supervisor. 
Um, I'm going to get into the same uh, SuperV application with a different password so uh, the system doesn't validate the GPS location. Here, I'm going to create the checklist. This, those are drop down list box, the picture button. I'm going to check a uh, checklist. So I'm going to start doing my checklist all across my, my store. So we have the Uber style stars, so you use picture buttons. Here we can uh, also picture buttons with just with different colors. I can capture photographs and comments on any particular checkpoint. So I'm going to take the picture. That's water. I'm going to use that photo and I'm going to upload the photo to the server so that a manager of the supervisor can take a look of everything that's going on in the store. <clears throat> so we can um, configure each of the uh, checklist so the user can make it uh, according to, to the needs. At the end, you can uh, just uh, show a data window with the results. And we have the in picture control that Appian has added to the list of objects so we can send the signatures to the server also. We can we have new objects, the map view object in, in which we can check for the location of any particular store. Okay, so we have the location uh, the, of that particular store. So it's a nice feature that Appian added to the to the Appian mobile product. Here, uh, I'm going to check another um, another application. Uh, let's go and see the the administration where you can check real time information about the sales of your um, of your stores, the most sold items. I mean, it's information real time that the owner of the stores want to be checking every time. So that's a data window with a list of items. So I'm going to call in this report and I'm basically executing a store procedure on the database side so the report is real fast. Here I'm getting real time information about the stores. I'm getting graphics that I'm inserting on the Google Charts. You can ha you have many charts uh, that Google is offering, and you can include them um, in your Power Builder uh, application. You here you have the um, filters, so we can check for uh, a different dates, and we have we are calling again the store procedure. And in less than four seconds, we have the updated information. So that's uh, sales by store. And I'm going to get also, I'm going to go and check for uh, the most sold items in the 21, in the last 21 days. So again, I'm calling for the store procedure at the database side. And here is the result with the Power Server Mobile. So I have the list of the most sold items. I have the filters that I can apply. I can choose for, for example, latest shoes, and I refresh, call again my store procedure, and here we have the, the results. We can have the, as you can see, you, you have the, uh, the tab page, and you can see the picture of any particular item. Also, we can check for sales per line here. We have ladies' shoes, women's shoes, uh, and men's and ladies' shoes. So we have again the, uh, the filters that you can apply. So you can make real nice enterprise applications with Power, Power Server Mobile. Uh, for a salesman at the store, they can be checking for uh, the inventory of any particular item. I mean, if you go to a store and sometimes they take a lot of time for, to check the, the inventory. So here the salesman has real-time information on the different sizes, the inventory, the price, the promotions, a lot of information you can get here. 
So that's basically what I wanted to show you about the application. And I'm gonna show you also my web application in which uh, also you can see how easy it is to create um, changes. Okay, here is my Power Builder um, application. I'm using Internet Explorer. Here it is. Okay, I have this. Uh, well, you can see uh, the application. It's inside um, the Internet Explorer. I have Windows with all the controls that you already know in Power Builder. We have this uh, window, so you have the single line of bits, you have the drop down list box, you have the also it's, um, very fast uh, where you can get the, the screens. I'm gonna do a change so you can see how I create a deployment. Uh, for example, imagine I have this, store, uh, this window, I have the data window, I have this picture, uh, these uh, common buttons, okay? I'm gonna add a button to, so you can see how I compile I'm gonna open the window for the colors okay so I'm creating here I'm gonna add a new button message box Hello, we are so glad to be here at Charlotte. Great Elevate 2017 event. Thanks, Apion. Okay, so I created this change in my window. That's a small change, just so you can see how you can create a really fast application. Okay, I'm gonna put uh, some color here to my window. Okay, and here is what Appian does. Appian installs the uh, Power Server Toolkit here in, inside the uh, Power Builder IDE so you can deploy your, your application. And I'm gonna create to my local deployment. So we are Appian just created the application. Okay, once that I have the application, I need to refresh. So here you have the changes, okay? So basically, as you, you can see, um, you don't need to know anything about uh, web programming or web technologies. You use basically just your Power Builder skills and Appium will do the job for you to convert everything to the, to the web. So for example, Appium has helped a lot our company. Why? We, because we have 3,000 customers. So we need to deliver all the, the the version is the same for every customer. So once that we deliver the, the version, 3,000 customers have the changes. For example, I'm gonna leave this as it was original. So I'm gonna change it, um, the button face. I have the new version. I just deploy it again. And I'm doing an incremental. Appian it's creating the JavaScript files. And that's it. I just refresh my application and I have the changes. That's it. So I have my window. So uh, with one click, you can deploy the, your, the same application. It's been used by 2,000 customers. He, uh, here I have another example. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to the um, yeah. 
So here in this application, we have a small dashboard that we are getting real fast with real-time information. We are getting the sales by, by year of a particular company. We are getting the sales by line, the turnover rates. So we have all this information, information available. So what, how we do to get it so fast, Appion has added this nice feature right here. For example, those are, as you can see, are six data windows, okay? Six data windows. So when you're doing and getting the information from the internet, you go and get first this one, and then you go and get this one. So that's a lot of uh, traveling of the information across the internet. So what Appian is doing, it's you have these retrieves, but if you don't want to do it just one at a time, you, Appian has added this start queue function and commit queue function of this uh, object. I'm going to see the, the object is of the type Appian MBO DB update that you can find inside the Appian workarounds, okay? Appion MBO DB update. Here is the the function. You have a list of functions, so you have here the, the functions that I'm telling you. The start queue and the commit queue. So what Appion does there is basically it goes and gets everything that is inside these two functions. Appian goes and does it at the same at the same time. So it's a great tool that um, Appian. Uh, it's helping us a lot of our, our company. We are just for uh, for PowerBuilder developers.